you know. Hello dear friends, welcome back to the Amundsen Family Channel. My name is Jory and today I'm going to be talking to you about why white guys prefer black women. So before we get into it, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and go ahead and comment down below so we can stay in touch. I love responding to all your comments and I enjoy what you have to say. And make sure you like, share, and turn on the notification bell so you know when each new video comes out. If you haven't already checked out my wife's video on Never Again, Why White Guys Are Better, go ahead and check it out. We're going to go ahead and link it for you. It's a great look at interracial, interracial relationships. And Bename talks about uh, how black girls um, choose either a black guy or a white guy and how there's a bit of a mindset at times that one is better than the other and she dives into those topics. It's really good. So go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, let's get into it. The first reason why white guys prefer black women is curvy shape. Now, I know I'm not alone when I say I prefer a gal that has some curves. My wife definitely had that and many black girls do. There are other cultures and races uh, that have this as well. I would like to say now, at the near beginning of this video, that these viewpoints and points that I'm bringing up are based on my opinion, personal experience, and my own preferences. So other people may have different ones, and you're, you're totally welcome to talk about those. I'd love to discuss those things. I love sharing back and forth a discourse on different topics in the comments. Number two reason why white guys prefer black women, they are exotic. I grew up in an area where there were not a lot of black girls, uh, hardly any at all. I don't, I don't know if I saw, no, I don't think I saw even one in my hometown growing up. There are a few black folks now, uh, many years later, but uh, growing up, nope, no sir. So for me, seeing a black girl is an exotic thing. It's different, it's unique. And my wife is even more exotic as she is from the Congo, DRC, Kinshasa. Number three, the third reason why white guys prefer black women, they are direct. Now, they don't beat around the bush. They get straight to the point. There's no passive aggressive communication. Uh, this is something I had to get used to. I grew up in a passive and sometimes passive aggressive type environment of communication. And so the discourse was, you kind of say what the person wants to hear, but don't really say exactly what they should hear uh, and hope they get the point based on, um, I don't know, some ethereal, uh, way of getting them to the point. Okay, that's cute and, and maybe it's a fun game, but being direct helps a lot. So uh, my wife is very direct and I've learned to appreciate that from her. At first it was like, oh, why are you speaking so harshly? But now I really have come to appreciate knowing exactly where I stand. It puts my mind at ease that she is very forthcoming in her communications, and it's helped me be more that way too. I think it's beneficial. Number four, the fourth reason why white guys prefer black women, they are relaxed. They're not uptight, they go with the flow, and this I have seen to be true. Uh, this is not true of every black woman, but uh, many that I've seen are relaxed. Uh, uh, is more concerned about um, an event than about the time that we arrive to an event. She's more concerned about uh, people than about how we interact structured with people. Um, she's relaxed and she's helped me to be more relaxed in situations. So that's a good thing that I've seen. This is not the case with every black woman, but it's definitely a trend, this being relaxed. Number five, the fifth reason why white guys prefer black women it's a different culture that they're being introduced to. So I came from uh, a specific culture in the area I grew up in, in Indiana, uh, and getting to know my wife was actually two cultures that I got to know because there's an aspect of this black African-American culture and also this Congolese African culture. Now, uh, 
I got to know a little bit more about what black folks go through in America by knowing my wife, and I'm still learning every day. I am, I am ignorant to a fault, I admit that, and I want to learn more. Uh, and I also learn more about African culture. Also, I don't know a lot, <laughs> but I want to learn. And uh, I find learning about different cultures intriguing and exciting. So that has been awesome. And a lot of white guys like that. They would love to experience and know someone who's from a different culture. The number six reason why white guys prefer black women, they are good dancers. Now, my kids will make fun of me because I always move my shoulders when I dance. That's like my go-to, like just, you know, move around a little bit like that. <laughs> That's all I can do. Not so with my wife. My wife is a phenomenal dancer. Now, here's, here's like an example. So if I had to learn a dance, I would study every single movement of that dance. I'd have to memorize each movement step by step. And even then, it would be like rigid, structured, and it wouldn't look very good. <laughs> My wife, on the other hand, she'd watch a dance once, have it down, and be rhythmic and smooth. Guys, there's, I mean, this point almost goes without saying. Black girls can dance. They have rhythm. They know what to do. <laughs> Dancing comes naturally for them. So, yeah, this is, this is like, just one of those things that's understood. <laughs> and I found that really awesome about my wife. I loved watching her dance. I loved uh, dancing alongside her, even though <laughs> she made me look horrible. Um, yeah, she's a phenomenal dancer. And this is true of a lot of black gals. Number seven, reason why white guys prefer black women. They're fun. Black gals are fun. So they know how to relax and just loosen up and have a good time. They're, they, they're gonna go into a situation many times thinking, let's have fun. You know, they won't be too uptight. They might embarrass you even because they wanna have fun. It's not all about appearances. It's about having a good time. And that's helped me a lot because I worry sometimes about how will people perceive me. But my wife has helped me to just relax and have a good time. The number eight reason why white guys prefer black women, they are honest. Now my wife will tell it how it is. Not only is she direct, she doesn't beat around the bush, she's also very honest. If I ask her something, she'll tell me the truth. And uh, this honesty is to a fault sometimes. She'll be honest to the point that it hurts. And, and even if it doesn't benefit her to be honest, she's honest. And so I really admire that in my wife. And that's an attribute I've seen in a lot of black gals. Now that's not always the case with all black gals. It's not that white gals, Hispanic, anywhere in the world, you name it, gals can't be honest. This is what I've encountered. There's a tendency towards just telling the truth. What's wrong with telling the truth? And my wife especially has done a great job at this and following the Lord's design for us to be honest. Okay, number nine reason why white guys prefer black women, they are good cooks. If you have ever tasted soul food, you know what I'm talking about. There is a way in the South that these black gals can throw together some fantastic food. And that's not to say uh, black gals in the North don't either. But I lived in the South with my wife. We were in South Carolina and we encountered some fantastic food. And as they say in the South, these women put their foot in that. <laughs> so, my wife also, uh, she doesn't do as much soul food. She picked up some from South Carolina. So those, she'll do some sweet potato, um, what is it, uh, sweet potato dish. I don't know, it's not pie, but it's like, it's got like marshmallows on top and like, I think it's got pecans in it and stuff. It's fantastic. She'll do a banana pudding that's to die for and, and uh, throwing some Southern accent there, but African food. So she can cook African food like nobody's business from Congo. She'll put some bija, na pondu, na thompson, and man, that is awesome food. Hey, the number 10 and last reason why white guys prefer black women, they are spiritual. If you all have ever had the privilege of enduring a black church service, you know that these gals take it serious when they come to meet with the Lord. This is an all-day event. This goes from early in the morning 
Uh, sometimes not as early, depending on when folks get there, <laughs> but it goes all day. Uh, you might take a break, but you go all day. I mean, there is praise and worship, there's prayer, there's bringing the word, there's altar call, there's, I mean, there's a lot of things that are showcased at a black church. And I love the way that they interact with one another and the way that they love and praise the Lord. And uh, Africans are similar in that they take it serious. They love to praise and dance is a huge part of their worship before the Lord. And I definitely saw this in my wife, that she is very spiritual at her core. One of the primary reasons why I picked my wife is that I saw a gal that was in love with the Lord and very spiritual. Thank you so much for watching these 10 reasons why white guys prefer black women. So these 10 things are some of the reasons why I chose my wife, Bename. They're not all the reasons. And these are personal to me, why I chose this black gal. When I set out to find a, a lovely woman to be my wife, I was not necessarily looking for a black woman, I was looking for the right woman. Bename had all the attributes I was looking for and more. She happened to be black. If she had been white, I still would have chosen her. However, these things that I mentioned tend to, to be uh, very prevalent in black gals. And I love exactly who the Lord allowed me to find. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. It also says that uh, land and homes are a gift from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. So it, it implies that the best gift your parents can give you is land and homes. And so the best gift that the Lord can give a man is a prudent wife. And I have found that in mine. And so I'm so grateful for my black woman. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. And with that, dear friends, keep looking up.